Today, we are going to be ranking what cereals are best. We're going to do a cereal tier list, and I'm going to be telling you the absolute 100% correct opinions on what cereal is the best cereal. I'm sure nobody, nobody is going to have any problems with any of my choices. I'm, I'm sure that we can have a civil discussion, especially when it comes to food items, right? If Reese's Pieces ain't on top, I'm unsubbing. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do it then, because they are my favorite cereal, I would probably have to say. But there are they even on here? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I thought somebody had made this tier list without even putting them on there and I was about to start screaming and shitting. Yeah, no, Reese's Puffs are definitely just like one of the best cereals, if not the absolute best. I'm not gonna give ratings to cereals that I have not tried. I wanna be fair. Add row below and rename- uh, I'm sorry, I, I scare myself sometimes. Have not tried. I've never tried Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. Anybody in chat, do we have any experts in chat on cereal that have tried Apple Cinnamon Cheerios? Why the hell are you trying Apple Cinnamon Cheerios? Get fucking Applejack. Try Applejack. So here's the thing about me too. I'm going to preface this before we get too deep into these tier lists, all right? I'm not the biggest cereal guy, all right? Normally, my average breakfast is a piece of bread with peanut butter on it, and that is what I eat for breakfast damn near every day, and I've been doing that for at least like the past two years. Cereal is not something I eat a whole lot. I have eaten a bunch of cereals. I can't say that I'm a huge cereal lover. Of course, I I have the best opinion on all this, but take it with a grain of salt, you know what I'm saying? Also, it's been so long since I've had fucking Cookie Crisp. I'm, I'm really trying to think of where I would place it at least back in the day. I would say it's probably like a... It's a B to A tier. I just don't know where... I would say it's probably top of B. It's definitely like... It's not like a low B. It, it, it's, it's definitely not... It's definitely not like an S tier cereal, and it's definitely not terrible, but I would put it probably right there. Special K? Ooh, I think I like this stuff. I would say fairly decent. Would I rather have Special K than Cookie Crisp? Probably. Probably I would. We're going to put it in A for now. We may move it a little bit later. This is just rough estimates. Once we get everything on the board, then we could start moving shit around and then probably be able to make better assumptions from there. Next up is Kix. What the fuck is a Kix? I don't know if I've ever seen Kix in my entire life. Am I insane? Am I insane? I, I can't rate this one. Kix are A easy. Am I just like stupid and I've never had them before? They're just corn? They're just, oh, they're like corn balls. Yeah, me not being a corn ball, I just wouldn't get it, I guess. I would probably eat Apple Jacks over Cookie Crisp, but I don't think that Apple Jacks are like my favorite cereal. Now, are they in the A tier as opposed Bruh. to the B tier? I honestly couldn't say. We're, go we're gonna put them in A tier, I think, for now, but we'll we'll move them eventually. Oh god, I'm fucking sweating up in this bitch. I am fucking sweating! Cornflakes. I've definitely had cornflakes in my life. I am never picking cornflakes over like any other cereal. They're not bad, but I don't want them. I don't want to eat them. They are they are a C tier. C for cornflakes. But you guys are saying in chat that, that cornflakes are kind of like kicks. Is that like real? Count Chocula. Ooh, Count Chocula. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like Count Chocula is basically like Lucky Charms, but chocolate. It's chocolate Lucky Charms. It's been a minute since I've had it, but isn't that just kind of like what it is? I've And I kind of like chocolate Lucky Charms. I, 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 I'm I not going to lie. I think this is an A-tier cereal. Would I eat it over Apple Jacks? And that is where we're going to keep it at least for now. Captain Crunch. Normal Captain Crunch. I actually want to get the chat's opinion on normal Captain Crunch before I give my opinion because because Captain Crunch is probably one of those cereals where I've had it like once or twice ever in my entire life. D, gross. C, it's okay. Captain Crunch is S, you all suck. <laughs> I would probably eat Captain Crunch over Cookie Crisp, but I don't want to eat it that much. Like, it, it, it's fine. It serves its purpose. We get we get to rice checks here. If you want me to just eat a bowl of rice checks with milk, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself, all right? Because that's just not happening. I don't want to do that. However, we have to give bonus points to rice checks because it's in Chex Mix. And Chex Mix is one of the best snacks of all time. I think that because it's in Chex Mix, you have to bump it up at least a tier or two. I would normally put it in like the same tier as corn flakes where I would eat it, but I don't want to eat it. But I think just because in Chex Mix, it has to be bumped up like at least two spots. I'm sorry. This may be a controversial take, but I think it has to. But we also have peanut butter Captain Crunch. I'm a big peanut butter guy. I don't know if you guys see that Reese's Puffs up there in the S tier. I like me my peanut butter. I'm not going to give it necessarily an S tier, but I would definitely put it at the top of A tier. Definitely at the top of A tier from what I remember. All right. Honey bunches of oats. Ooh. Maybe this is me getting older because I am like, you know, 98 years old. I feel like honey bunches of oats are kind of fire. Are they not? Like, I feel like they're kind of good. Dead ass. Like, they're almost S tier. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Honey Bunches of Oats and Peanut Butter Captain Crunch in the A tier for now. And if they're, they're on good behavior by the end of this tier list, I'll bump them up to S tier. All the cereal tastes the same? You're telling me Reese's Puffs taste the same as fucking Apple Cinnamon Cheerios? You're smoking crack, bro. <laughs> You're actually smoking crack. There's no way. I haven't even had them. And I know that's not, that's just not true. It's just not true. Rice Krispies. Again, with rice 
Krispies. I don't know if I would necessarily like want to eat an entire bowl of Rice Krispies like in milk, but Rice Krispies as a snack with Rice Krispie treats, bare minimum has to bump it up like one tier. Like, cause I think normally it would probably sit in the B tier for me, but just because it's made into a good snack, I want to bump it up to A tier. Just kidding. It's going to stay in the B tier. It's probably, it probably belongs there realistically. The treats are bad. You guys don't like Rice Krispie treats? Really? I, I feel like Rice Krispies being top of B tier is probably okay though. You said Rice Krispie treat and my mouth started watering? That's what I'm saying. Rice Krispie treats are good. What the fuck is a Applejack fake ass cereal? Dude, are you literally fucking Patrick Star, dude? Do you live under a rock? There's no way, you know, there's no way you're being serious. You cannot be serious. Like, yeah, you actually cannot be serious. Right? Like, look me in the eye. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't know what Apple Jacks are. Look me in the eye. Okay? You know what Apple Jacks are. Stop fucking with me. You, you you cannot fool me. I think Cinnamon Toast Crunch is pretty good. It's one of the cereals that I've probably had more recently. I would say that Cinnamon Toast Crunch probably is like maybe right here with how things have been going. Like, I don't know if I would put it above peanut butter cereals, but it's definitely above everything else right now. S tier all the way. A lot of people saying S on Cinnamon Toast Crunch. You know what? I'll, I'll just do this. Okay, here. Does this make everybody happy? I, I think we're going to just put Reese's Puffs peanut butter captain crunch and uh, cinnamon toast crunch in the s tier are we good with this I, I feel i feel decently comfortable doing that i have eaten a fuckload of frosted mini wheats in my entire life and i don't know why i honestly like thinking about it right now why the fuck did i eat so many frosted mini wheats i have no idea like actually no clue i think it sort of soured my taste towards them though but you absolutely cannot leave them in the milk too long because then they just mush and they're disgusting. They're bad. They are straight up just really bad. However, if you eat them in time, in a timely fashion, I would say that they are very easily like a, I would probably, I would probably put them right here in the A tier. Probably I would eat it over Count Chocula, maybe eat Apple Jacks over Mini Wheats. But you have to eat them correctly. You cannot just let them sit in milk. Honey Nut Cheerios. Let's be real. Honey Nut Cheerios, it does not matter. You do not need to have milk. You could eat Honey Nut Cheerios right out of the box. And I think that counts for a whole lot. I would put them right there. S tier cereal. If you could just eat the cereal out of the box with nothing else, it's an S tier cereal, right? But okay, what is this? Rice Krispies treats, or I'm assuming they put marshmallows in with the rice. Rice Krispies. I've never had that shit. I'm sure it's good, but I'm just going to have to put it in the have not tried section. Also, uh, regular Cheerios. I'm going to have to put that in the have not tried section. Never tried a, a normal Cheerio. You guys believe me? You got trolled. Of course I've tried a fucking Cheerio. Who do you think I am? Where do ch normal Cheerios go though? I'm trying to think. I don't really want to eat a bowl of Cheerios. There are a bunch of good like flavor variations, but I would definitely put it in like the, the C tier. I would for sure eat Cheerios over cornflakes. That shit is mid as hell. It's like the standard mid cereal. It's not a bad thing. It just means you're mid. And, and now saying that, maybe it's not a mid cereal because look, it, it's technically at the bottom right now. Okay, Lucky Charms. I would probably put normal Lucky Charms like right right behind the Count Chocula cereal, perhaps. Cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. Actually, you know what? It's going B tier. I think Lucky Charms is like top of B tier for sure. In college, all right, I would, I would come back from my like nine o'clock class after not eating breakfast and I would, you know, get my bowl of Lucky Charms with milk, you know, eat that and then also get my coffee with creamer in it, sip on that. And a little did I know at that time, I was actually extremely lactose intolerant. So every day I did that, I was essentially poisoning myself, straight up poisoning myself. Like I would shit myself every fucking day and I could not figure out what the fuck it was because I had drank milk all the time growing up. I get to college and then all of a sudden, like my stomach feels like shit all the time. I'm, I'm you know, I'm on my coffee and fucking Lucky Charms in the morning grind set. And I'm like, dude, I feel like shit every day. Like what's going on? I was definitely extremely lactose intolerant every day. It was bad. It was bad. What can I say? Sometimes we, we just do stupid shit, but hey, I don't do that anymore. Except for the coffee part. I had coffee today. Didn't shit myself though. So, you know, that's always good. Cocoa Krispies. I think Cocoa Krispies, I don't know if anybody's really going to argue with me and say that Cocoa Krispies are like worse than Rice Krispies. They have to be better. I wouldn't necessarily call them an A tier cereal? I would put them at top of B though. They're good. I think they're better chocolate God, cereals man, though. This is another one where I'm gonna like pull the chat here. What do you guys think about Fruit Loops? What are, what are we thinking? Pride Month cereal. True, it is Pride Month. I guess it's like, do you like artificial sugary fruity things? That's that's the real question. Cheer D Cheerios, but worse. God damn, really? You really hate them that much? I think they're a B tier cereal and I don't think they're like top of B tier. I think they are maybe like, I don't know exactly where to place them in the middle of this. Would I rather have a bowl of Rice Krispies or Fruit Loops? Probably maybe Rice Krispies and then Captain Crunch or Fruit Loops? Here maybe, like above Cookie Crisp? 
perhaps. It's kind of hard though. Raisin Bran though. I'm sorry. Raisin Bran is D tier. I do not like raisins. I did not like raisins as a kid. I don't like raisins as an adult. I do not want to eat raisins. And I especially do not want to eat them in the morning for breakfast with my cereal. I know that there are some people where it's like Raisin Bran is their shit. Like it is the number one cereal and they fucking love raisins. But dude, I don't like raisins. I'm sorry. I can't deal with it. I understand if you like raisins, you're gonna like fucking raisin bran, but I just don't like it. This shit just looks ancient from the branding. I don't think I've ever had golden crisp in my life. Has anybody actually had it? I'm gonna put it in the have not tried uh, tier, but uh, is it good? Yes, so good. Oh, there are some nasty cereals. This is like the new strat for cereal brands, right? Because people don't really think that cereals are healthy anymore because most of them never have been and never will be, right? And it used to be, it was like, oh, you can have like healthy cereals as part of a balanced breakfast. That shit's bullshit, right? You, gotta, you just use your brain like cereal is not. What they have done now is they've just like said, fuck it, cereal is not healthy. We don't give a fuck anymore. And they just make all sorts of insane ass cereals. Like, have you have you guys seen like the type of shit that they make now in the cereal aisle? Have you guys like browsed the cereal aisle lately? It's fucked. Yeah, there was like the Sour Patch Kids cereal. I don't even think that's sold anymore. It was so bad. Fruity Pebbles. I think that Fruity Pebbles, ooh, you know what? I, I really have not had a whole lot of Fruity Pebbles in my life life until a little bit more recently. I do think though that Fruity Pebbles is probably like the best fruity cereal. I'm going to put it above Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think I would rather have a bowl of Fruity Pebbles than cere uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I like Fruity Pebbles. I think they're very good. Cocoa Puffs. We're gonna we're gonna have to base Cocoa Puffs against the other chocolate cereal. From what I remember, I like it better than Count Chocula. And Count Chocula is already an A. But do I like it more than a bunch of these other ones? A tier because of the milk? That is a very good point. Cocoa Puffs, the milk that you get to drink from the Cocoa Puffs afterwards is super good. I think that should put it maybe right here. I haven't had Cocoa Puffs in a while though. I don't know if they've changed how they taste. They may have. I hope not though. Cocoa Pebbles superior? Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and rate it. Honestly, I absolutely agree. I think Cocoa Pebbles is also an S tier cereal. I, th I think Cocoa Pebbles are for sure better than Cocoa Puffs. Can I get an amen in the chat? Cocoa, Cocoa Pebbles are good. Okay, but seriously though, do I like Cocoa Pebbles more than Fruity Pebbles? Weirdly enough, I think I like Fruity Pebbles more than Cocoa Pebbles. And I'm like kind of a chocolate guy. The S tier is pretty fucking stacked. We may have to make an S plus tier. Frosted Flakes. I think Frosted Flakes are good. Honestly, I would put Frosted Flakes like almost in the same category. It's Isn't it kind of similar to Special K? Aren't they, aren't they like kind of similar? Is that like a crazy comparison to make? Like a sweeter version of Special K? You could definitely eat them without milk like Honey Nut Cheerios. That is true. I'm okay with putting them right here. I, th I think that's fine because I could definitely eat some Honey Bunches of Oats straight up without milk. Do you guys like Berry Captain Crunch more than normal Captain? Captain Crunch or less. I'm thinking about it and I'm trying to even think if I've ever even had Berry Captain Crunch. I'm not sure that I have. And honestly, I'm so unsure that I'm just going to put it in the have not tried. I swear to God, I don't think I've had it before. I don't know how I've gotten through life not eating Captain Crunch Berry version, but pretty sure. Raisin Bran, apparently there are two types of it. Uh Oh, this one has more raisins in it. This, this extra Raisin Bran, extra raisins in the brand. All right. Uh, how do I make a, a doo-doo tier? That's where this goes. Fucking mega F. How dare you put two scoops? Horrible. I have not had Honey Smacks though. Honey Smacks goes in there. Didn't Honey Smacks have like salmonella or something? I'm pretty sure Honey Smacks had like salmonella in them. Like how the fuck does a cereal have a salmonella outbreak? I gotta look this up. I can't just say this out of my ass. Hold on. Oh my god, it came up. In one of the largest ever food safety fine and forfeiture case, a producer of Honey Smacks cereal pleaded guilty to operating in unsanitary conditions that resulted in an outbreak of salmonella infection. What the fuck were they doing? How? That's what I'm saying. Like, how? It hospitalized 34 people. All right. So, yeah. No, I've never had salmonella cereal. I don't plan on it either. I don't want to eat Honey Smacks. I really don't. Tricks are like, okay, I think, from what I remember. Uh, I have not had Tricks in fucking forever. Are they better than Fruit Loops? Let, let's pit them against each other. Tricks are for kids? That's true. I'm not a kid. I'm a grown-ass man. You will not catch me eating Tricks. Um, I honestly want to say Fruit Loops are better, though. Probably is either, like, bottom of C tier or D tier. I think bottom of C. I'm not a big fan of pops either. I hate to say it. I'd honestly go so far as to say that I put them like down here. I've had them like once before they they were not good. This looks like pretty rough estimate of what I'd say is a good tier list for cereal. Now let's go over the tiers and actually figure this out. Cause I think for one, we need to have an S plus tier. Freaking S plus. Reese's Puffs, Honey Nut Cheerios. Definitely going up in the S plus. For sure. Don't even have to think about it. Now, Peanut Butter Captain Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Cocoa Pebbles. No way. This is next level hating. This is, this is some of the most extreme hating I've ever seen in my life. Crowy gifting a sub to mid list. That 
is insane hating. Holy shit. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna call it here. I think I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I am cool with locking in. Click me. Click, click right here, right here, click here. Click right over here. Come on, you know you wanna. 